In this practice, we'll now put our EBSCO searching skills to use to find an article related to the topic of how global warming is affecting sea levels. Go to the library homepage. Click on Articles and More Databases. Click on EBSCO. At this point, you may have to enter your banner ID number, also called your student number or your L number. Later, read the descriptions for all of the databases within EBSCO. The first two databases, Academic Search Complete and Master File Premier, are already pre-selected. Add Green File by clicking in its checkbox. Click on Continue. At the search screen, enter your search terms and connector in the search box. Check your spelling. Notice that on the basic search screen of this database, you may select certain limiters. We will limit to full text. Click on Search. The entries in your short results list consists of citations for all of the articles or other documents in the EBSCO databases you selected that match your search terms. Your search terms will usually appear somewhere in the title, abstract, or subject field of each document. Usually the documents will be in chronological order, latest to oldest. Browse through the results list to identify titles that are most appropriate. Click on Next at the bottom of the screen until you find an article titled 20th Century Sea Level Rose at Fastest Rate in Millennia. This article is by Thomas Sumner. The article appeared in a periodical called Science News. It was published on April 2, 2016. It begins on page 20. It is one page long. Click on the article title to read its abstract or summary. The full text of this article follows an HTML full text view. HTML has a simple appearance. If you want to print it, look for a printer icon right of the article. Do not click on File Print in the browser. This article is also available in PDF full text view. This means that it appears as it does in the paper issue of the magazine. Click on PDF full text. Remember, if an article is available as both a PDF and as HTML, always select the PDF version so as to get any images or graphs that originally accompanied the article. If the article is appropriate to your research, decide whether to email it, download it, or print it.